Noah, go build a boat. Now that's crazy. He was a hundred miles from any body of water. Nobody had ever seen it rain. Moisture came from the earth. The first rain that was recorded in history was with the flood waters that came those 40 days and 40 nights. Here he is building a boat. This righteous man, this God-fearing man, this worshiping man, and you can imagine the ridicule. Well, no, what are you building there, man? Uh, large proportions, isn't it? By the way, you remember the dimensions of, uh, of the ark? 150 feet long, a football and a half long in honor of the Super Bowl. I'll give you that most measure. A football and a half long, feel long, uh, 25 yards wide, 15 yards high. It wasn't for going anywhere, it was for existence. Now, people have studied the ark for many years, and some scholars and people who's supposed to know about boats said, you know, that boat wouldn't float. It couldn't possibly inhabit two of every kind and keep people alive for all those 40 days, 40 nights, etc. But now, go to Branson, Missouri, you can see a replica of the ark. Go to other places on the earth, you see the art has been exactly reconstructed. And now there is common belief that what is reported in the Bible that many people just said, oh, it won't work. Now they see exactly how it could have worked and it did function. Amazing, isn't it? Noah built that big old art by faith. He got in, the rains came, then he floated out there a million miles from nowhere, and his boat ended up on Mount Ararat. Remember we climbed up Ararat a few months ago? <laughs> Remember that? We found that uh, boat on top of Mount Ararat, and I can imagine that Noah walked out of that ark and he looked around. There was nobody, no people, no inhabitants, no landmarks, no nothing. He started over from zip. A lot of people think that Noah exercised more faith after the flood than he did before the flood. Because what's the first thing Noah did when he got off the boat? The Bible says he built an altar. He worshiped in thanksgiving. The ark was salvation. The altar was transformation. You can be saved and not be transformed. But that's the transformation that took place as Noah had a new chance to begin life on this earth. By faith, Noah. Noah. 